Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be trying on two different shades of the newly released travel sizes of the Le Beige's Healthy Glow Bronzing Creams. I did a video on this last week where I featured two of the Coco Flash shades and I showed the bigger sizes, the original bronzing creams and swatched all those. At that stage I thought the travel sizes were just re-promotes but I've since discovered that the travel sizes are a new formula and I've had a good look at the formula now and I've also recently put up a video of the newly released it's the Chanel Le Beige's it's a healthy glow cream and this is a base that you put under your foundation and I absolutely love this product and now I've also bought a backup. I do understand that this has been released in Europe now and it's supposed to be released in the US in about June. So if you want to take a look at that video, I'll put the link up here. Now the other reason why I mention this is that the ingredients in the bronzing cream and these travel sizes is very similar to the ingredients that are in this healthy glow cream. So I haven't tried these out yet. This will be a first impression with you guys. I'll be swatching both of these and also swatch them against the other bronzers as well. So the two shades that I picked up is 390 Soleil Tan Bronze, that's the lightest one, and 392 Soleil Tan Medium Bronze. Now with the bigger size, I have all three shades, but the two shades that I use the most is the lightest one and the medium. So that's why I decided to pick up those two shades in these travel sizes. They have 15 grams of product. They are made in France and they have a shelf life of 12 months from date of opening. So I'll open up the lightest shade first and we'll take a look. So this is the outside packaging. It's exactly the same as the Healthy Glow Cream that I tried out the other day. And the Healthy Glow Cream also has 15 grams of product. So from the promo photos, inside this product there wasn't that swirl with the bigger sizes. It does have this cap in here with a little tab. It's really important that you keep that and replace it each time. Otherwise this formula will dry out. So I'm just taking off the tab. So this is the lightest shade and I'll hold it up a bit closer so you can take a look. And as you can see it's just flat there. It doesn't have that swirl like the bigger sizes. So I'll now open up the bigger size and we'll just pop it side by side. I will be swatching these but just so you can take a look at them side by side. Now I'm not too sure if the shades are going to be exactly the same or not because this is the first time that I'm opening them and we'll be trying them out today. So the next one is 392 and that's the 10 medium bronze. So I'll just open this one up and this is 10 medium bronze. And this is 10 medium bronze in the bigger size. So it'll be interesting to see what they look like swatched on my arm because just looking at them in the pan, it is hard to tell. This one, this medium one, isn't that old. I just bought it, it was either late last year or earlier this year. But looking at them both together, the newer one, the travel one, looks slightly cooler. But of course they could look exactly the same when I swatch them. So I'm going to swatch the lighter shade first and this is the original one in the bigger size. So you can see this is a very warm shade but I do love this shade. It just gives, well, for me, a very subtle warmth. And here is the travel size one. So together they sort of do look the same. When I swirl around the product to get it out. This is in the travel size. It does feel smoother and it feels really silky like the healthy glow cream. So it's interesting that it is nearly the same ingredients apart from the colouring. And then next is medium in the bigger packaging. And here is the medium shade in the travel size. So 
Just having a close look. I'm just going to go over again the travel size one. It does look, it may look no different when I try it on, but slightly, just slightly cooler, I think. So I've just turned down my light and just holding them a little bit closer. So here we have the light in the original, light and travel size, medium in the original, and medium in the travel size. So the main thing about the ingredients with these travel size bronzers, or lack of, is that it no longer has coconut oil like the bigger size bronzers. But as I was saying, when I look closer at the ingredients, most of them are completely different. So just like with the glow cream, this travel bronzer has beeswax. It also has jasmine oil in it as well. These are fragranced and the fragrance is similar to that what's in the healthy glow cream. It's the typical Chanel smell, but it's not overpowering in any way. And I have taken a screenshot of the ingredients with the original size bronzer and these ones. So I'll try and put them up beside me. So if you want to, you can pause and take a look. So I've got all my base makeup on, the Le Beige's Healthy Glow Cream, and then I've got a Chanel foundation over the top, a different one again, because I'm trying out different foundations with this base, and all foundations are just working beautifully with it, and that base certainly takes the foundations just to that next level. I love how it smooths out my skin and it fills in pores and lines to some degree as well. I've also got concealer on and I've powdered over my concealer. I've got eyeshadow primer on and done my eyebrows. So now let's try these bronzers on. So on one side I will use the old formula. I'm going to use both of the bronzers because that's how I use these quite a bit. I like the light shade and medium together and then on the other side of my face I will use the travel size bronzers. So on the left side of my face I'm going to use the bigger size bronzers and on the right side I'm going to use the travel size. I'm going to start off with the light shade first. With the brushes I use something like this BK Beauty one. This is the 106 or I use the Sonia G. This is the Jumbo Base or another Sonia G brush that I use to put these on and this one is the Classic Base. So I'll start off using the BK Beauty the 106 and since this is a lighter shade I really swirl the brush in and then I just tap it on. Now often when I use these bronzers I've already powdered my face. I haven't done that today but in the past, I either put them on before a powder or over top of a powder as well. Both work really, really well. So this is quite light for me. My skin tone is light medium, more towards medium. But when I'm doing a very light look, I just love the really subtle warmth that this gives. One thing when I was swatching those travel size bronzers, as I was saying, they feel smoother than this formula. Now I'm going to take the travel size in the lighter shade. I'm just going to use the Sonia G brush for this one and just do exactly the same. Just tap some in. And it seems to be that you can pick up a little bit more product with this. And it's hard to tell, but this might fractionally be not quite as warm as this shade. And I don't think it's a difference in the brushes either, because as I was saying before, I use either brushes interchangeably and it doesn't really matter. I've always found that they place the product on with the bigger size bronzer just the same. So to get the same sort of effect that I did with the bigger bronzer, I didn't have to go into the pan as much. These blend out really, really beautifully. I'm just going to tap a little bit more on. I'm just going to try it. Just also putting it on with my fingers because sometimes it's quite nice to be able to put a product on using your fingers. 
and I can definitely say that this is as smooth and as silky as the Healthy Glow Cream. This is a really beautiful formula. So now I've wiped down the BK Beauty, this is the 106, and we'll go into the medium one. And what I normally do, as I was saying, I use both of these bronzes together. I just tap a little bit and just add a little bit more through here. I'll add some more for this video just so you can get a really good look at it. Then we take the Sony G, the classic base, and go into the travel size in the medium shade and just pop some on. I'll just swirl the brush in again. So I'm just having a look at the different shades. I, there doesn't seem to be much in it really. I'm just going to put a little bit through here. So I'm getting pretty bronzed up, but I just wanted to show you what it was like for this video. It's probably heavier than what I would normally go, but I just want to give you a good look at what these bronzes look like. So this side with the original bronzers and this one with the travel size. And now that I've got them on, I really can't see a difference with the shades. So when I applied the travel size bronzer, they are definitely more silky and smooth. So even if there's no difference with the shades, the formula is definitely different. And I do prefer the formula in the new travel size bronzers. So now I'm just going to lightly powder over the top as I always do with my foundation since I have oily skin. So I'm just going to just very lightly powder over. So now I've put all the rest of my makeup on and everything that I've got on I will have listed and linked in the description box below because the Le Beiges, the travel size bronzers, these have now been released in the US, so I'll put a link to that below. And it won't be too long before they will be available, I'd say, at Chanel US as well. And apart from the mascara, the eyeshadow, blush, and lipstick are all Chanel products. And the lipstick is the new one, and that's in the shade Destination. It's a really beautiful everyday nude lipstick. So now with all my makeup on between the bigger size bronzers with the other formula and the new travel size with the new formula I really can't see a difference in the shades at all but the big difference I notice is not just the different ingredients in the new travel size bronzer but how it feels when it applies to the skin as well. It does feel a lot more silkier and smoother when you put it on. I think it's a really beautiful product and although these travel size bronzers they are limited edition I imagine if the feedback is really good and these are popular, I wouldn't be surprised if they also reformulate the bronzers, the ones in the bigger size as well. The formula is just really gorgeous. And the bronzers with the original formula always wore quite well on my oily skin. So it'll be interesting to see how these travel size ones wear as well. But because it's the same formula as the new Healthy Glow Cream and that wears beautifully on my skin, that I imagine that this will too. But it's just after lunchtime at the time of doing this video. So by the time I take off my makeup and when I upload this video, I would have worn it probably for about at least nine or ten hours so I will pin a comment to this video and let you know how it wore but as I was saying since the formula is fairly or nearly exactly the same as the healthy glow cream I'm pretty sure it's going to wear really beautifully so I'm thrilled that I picked up these travel sizes and I'm really glad that it is a new formula I think it is gorgeous to apply and he is hoping just like the healthy glow cream that it's going to wear beautifully as well but as I said I'll let you know in a pinned comment. So that's it for today's video. I'd love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye!